Telling uh, Keith over there when I worked down at WRX, there was a woman called in one night. She wanted to hear that song. Yeah. I said, We don't have it. She said, Yeah, you do. <laughs> I, I, I was on the countryside, you know, uh, WRX, and next door was the gospel. She said, All you got to do is get your little butt up. She's what she says. <laughs> Walk over there and grab that CD and bring it back and play it. She said, Because all the new DJs don't know where it's at. Yeah. So I said, well, I need to get OK. They had three studios down there. Yeah. yeah. They had WA and this. I said, well, I have to get OK to do it. She said, you better do it now. Or I'm going to tell Matt on you. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, let me take a break, go to some commercials. So I did. I never heard it. I went about, it took me about 10 minutes to find it. I got it. I played it, and it was my, no, most, I, uh, it was my most requested song. I was in yeah. here down there from That's Jason Vaughn's uh, Christian Talk radio station for a while. Uh -huh. and we had a ball with that. Yeah, but that was my uh, most requested song at night was that one. Yeah, that song, oh, I love Lindsay. it. I, I miss that old rascal. Who? Paul Lindsay. Yeah, he's over in Greenville now. Yeah, yeah. He moved to Georgia there for a while. Yeah. After they closed down the station down there. Yeah, Otis Stone, you remember him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was a cat boy. Old George or something else, too. He's pissed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, we all had fun down there. I missed WRX, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. Small world, then. You ain't using no mic when you sang tonight? To... Well, the mics are all the way up yonder, and I, I yeah, kind of like being in the midst of all of But you, he got a strong enough voice. He don't need no mic. Is that a hummingbird? <laughs> no, it's a... 
I'm fixing to send you over here to the ER. I said, what's that? She said, well, you'll find out as soon as you get there. <laughs> so I walk, in, I walk in the emergency room at the hospital. They asked me, I said, what's your name? And I told them my name, and they said, come on back here. And they went, I didn't get stopped at go or nothing. I said, they just tell them, I said, come on back here. They went hooking up all these wires to me and everything. And a little bit, that doctor come in there and... He said, look, so I got you a room up, Gunner, 332. He said, going up there, said somebody, I said, Christmas. I said, I'm going home. He said, going up there to that room, he said, somebody be in there and talk to you in a few minutes. And then you can decide what you want to do. So I go on up there, and he talked talk to me for a minute. He said, look, he said, you got to have a heart doctor, and you can't get one until after the first of the year, 
And he says, I don't know if you've got that much time to live or not. Really? And uh, he said, you can go down there, you can leave, you can go down there to that parking lot. I said, once you hit that parking lot down there, he said, I don't know if they'll have enough time to get you back in here for anybody to help you or not. So I stayed in the hospital, and what they operated on me. And then I had a stroke. Well, I couldn't play this guitar. It was on the left side, and I, I couldn't play this guitar. And I thought, well, my Lord, surely I can play that guitar. And I told my boys, I said, look, bring me a guitar down here to this rehab. I said, I think that that will be all the therapy that I need. I felt just like if I could get this guitar in my hand, I could make it play. Amen. But I couldn't. I couldn't. And this, yeah. our sister pastor came down there. And he asked me, his name's Mark, he asked me, he said, what that old, why are you doing that old guitar down there, down here? And I said, well, I, brought, I had the boys bring it down here. I thought maybe I could might strum on it a little bit. He said, hand it to me. So I had to get it handed over to him. He come up to play it, and uh, he said, sing us a song. And I'd been going through speech therapists and all this right here, and I couldn't, I just couldn't get, didn't have everything together. I was worse than I was today trying to get up here. But anyway, they are. Uh, he said, told me, he said, sing that song that you wrote. He said, I love it. And uh, I started kind of trying to sing it, and, and the words come right back to me. And uh, that speech therapist then told me the next day, next week, he said, if hadn't been to that man right there, I said, you probably wouldn't have never got your speech back. But said, thank the Lord. Well, he he's did. Done. That's he's right. God is real. And, and, he, and he, yeah. people don't realize, don't yeah. realize how real he is. Mm -hmm. Now, I, our, our, our president, now look, I know we ain't supposed to bring politics in church. But not, look, we, we, we I don't, said that. I don't see nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Listen, you got to read the Constitution the way it's written. It says separation between church and state. Uh -huh. It didn't mean for a church to stay out of state. It meant for state to stay out of church. Amen. 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 Our, our priest, That's our it. Our yeah. president yesterday went to that our, uh, thing for these. Oh, yeah, for the uh, right to life. Yeah, back to life. He went that thing. I'll tell you what, and that thing brought tears to my eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, that thing is really. First president yeah. in history to go to that rally. In 45 years. In 45? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? That's something. That's terrible. That's terrible. But anyway, mm -hmm. I, think we got a, I think we got an awesome president. I love him. Hey, but I love but him the so Democrats much. don't like that. Oh, well. well oh, they can't Democrats. stand him doing that. God's going to have his way to inspire that. That's, that's right. right. And, and I'll be glad whenever he cleans them Democrats out up there. I am so tired of them people running our president mm. down because Look. No time in history has there ever been a party to run a president down the way right. they have this president. Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody else disrespect the president or threaten assassination be in prison. Mm -hmm. How many of them up there have done that and still walking around? Right, right. Something's wrong mm -hmm. in America. Yeah, I, I truly believe if Jesus came back today and ran for president and won president, they'd impeach him. How do they believe? They I believe try. that. They well, would try. They try. Yeah. Look, I have thought about our president as the way Jesus Christ walked this earth. I mean, you know, that's, yeah. I mean, you know, not comparing him with Jesus, yeah. but the way that the people did Jesus while he was. But you know, Jesus said that we would be persecuted. Yes. And, and the Bible's fulfilling. Him, they'll hate us. Yeah, the Bible's fulfilling. Fulfilling, yeah. Listen, if we're Coming not in days, I ain't sitting here. That's it. Amen. I we are. Amen. I believe Amen. we're already in the tribulation period. I anyway, I got so much to be thankful for. This right here Amen. is my theme song right here. Uh, and uh, because uh, from where God brought me to and where I am today, I know good and well that, that there's no way. Right. There's no way. That God is the only only way that that, that, I, that I can be here. Amen. I just thank you. I praise you.
Radio. That's it. That's it. You know, that's Jeff Easter's daddy that wrote that. Yeah, I didn't uh, James know that. Easter and his uh, brothers wrote that. I didn't know that. The Easter yeah. boys. Yeah, I see it. They, yeah. they, they wrote that. But that's a pretty, pretty, pretty song. Mm -hmm. We're just having a good old time over here, doing a rehearsing over here at Catlin's place. On a Saturday. Saturday afternoon.
Here we go. You can do the same, you can do the same speed. Yeah. Oh, that's fast. I know. That's uh, fast. Nice. We're all fast. teeth pulled out, got some false teeth. Well, the first Sunday at church, he come in, he preached for eight minutes. The second Sunday, he come in, preached for ten minutes. The third Sunday, he come in, preached for an hour and a half. Well, everybody in the church couldn't figure out what was going on, so they bombarded him, wanting to know why he only preached eight minutes a week before last, ten minutes last week, and he preached an hour and a half today. What's going on? He said, well, I had my new teeth in the first Sunday, and it hurt so bad, eight minutes is all I could talk. He said, the second week, I was still kind of getting used to my teeth, so 10 minutes is all I could talk. He said, I got up this morning, and I messed up and put my wife's teeth in before I come to church. <laughs> oh, boy, boy. He really, hey, he really messed up. He really messed up, didn't he? <laughs> he just couldn't quit talking. <laughs> That's a good, yeah, there you go. I wonder why women get so mad at us. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I still live. Yeah. Um, this is A minor. This is an old. Um, I wrote this back in um, 1975. Um, but it, but it's. Uh, I think it's kind of cute. It's, it's about the end times. There are woeful sounds of war. There are signs of tumult, night, flood, famine, sweet creation. There are warnings in the sky. Lo, the hearts of men are failing, so distress and grief abound. Tis the midnight of the world, soon the bridegroom's voice will sound. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? See the shadows settling down, filling all the world with gloom. Moral standards are abandoned, wicked nations wait their doom. But the prophetic word is telling that the sages' course is run. Tis the harvest hour of sin, and the reaping time has come. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? 
see the fig tree budding now, Christ's glad kingdom is at hand. Ancient Israel is seething with her sons from distant lands. And though the day, the hour, we know not when with clouds he will appear, yet these signs are tokens true that the blessed Christ is near. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you clad in garments white? Is your path to glory bright? Does he cleanse your heart this hour through his sanctifying power? And are you ready for the day? For it isn't far away. Are you ready for the upward fly? Satan? <laughs>